Hey, Barbara, this is Brantley Gilbert. How are you? Hey, man, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> I'm doing just fine. We're riding around in the snow. Oh, my God. You're in Winnipeg right now, aren't you? We're between Winnipeg and somewhere else. Wherever we're at, it is snowing. <laughs> Well, when you get to this neck of the woods, we've got blue sky waiting for you, okay? Well, I'm excited. We're ready for it. Well, I'm from Georgia. We, if we ever see, like, an inch of snow, it shuts the entire state down. Isn't that starting to happen a lot in your neck of the woods? Like, weird weather that we've never seen, that you've never seen before? Yeah, it's been a little different. Hey, Bradley, I want to talk about the ones that like me tour. You're at the Abbotsford Center this weekend with Tim Hicks. Have you learned anything, any Canadiana? type of things from Tim Hicks. Do you know what a Tim Hortons is? What a what? <laughs> a Tim Hortons. It's not a trick question, I promise. A Timmy's. I, 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 I can't say I do. It's a coffee shop, basically. Oh, okay. Now that you're in Canada, you might be drinking a lot of the Tim Hortons. They also have great donuts, by the way. Oh, you can't go wrong with donuts. No, definitely not. Uh, Bradley, you became a dad last year. There's a lot of guys in country music that became dads either for the first time or again, like Tyler Hubbard, Jason Aldean, Thomas Rhett, Lee Bryce, Mo Pitney, Justin Moore, Clay Walker, Rodney Atkins, Dave Haywood. What the hell is in the water over there? You know what? We all been trying to figure that out. <laughs> it, <laughs> there was definitely something in the water, and, and it apparently got into the water source down in Georgia, too, because yeah. we saw it. And are the moms going to start a club now? Well, I can tell you, my wife's been on the phone uh, with Eric Church's wife a good bit about, uh, like, the crib and the bus and, and kind of having the baby on the road and uh, she's been real helpful to Amber on that end. You got to enjoy a little bit of time off, got to enjoy your, your baby boy, but now now you're back to business. Is it, uh, are you starting to get into the swing of things? And especially now that you're touring with the family? It's a little different than what you did before. Oh, for sure. It's a lot different. <laughs> but it's, it's a lot of fun, you know. Uh, a lot of folks ask you what the, you know, the hardest part about your job is and it's kind of hard to fuss about being away from home when we still got, you know, soldiers overseas running 11 and 12 month tours. It is hard to be away from home. It helps a little bit having them out. Besides having the family on tour with you this time around, what's going to be different about your show on this tour? The last time you were here in Vancouver, you were at this little spot, Commodore, which is an awesome venue, but now you're at like a, a bigger venue. What are you bringing with you this time? A lot of noise and a party. We're bringing a party with us. You know, we actually did a lot of social media driven things uh, in preparation for this tour where folks would come in and kind of, you know, give us some input on maybe some songs they wanted to hear, some things that they wanted to see that they, you know, that maybe we hadn't incorporated in the show in a minute. So uh, we've added some, some older songs into the set. Uh, some kind of throwback things, but it's still high energy as it can be. It's a party. It's, it's an awesome time. We're going to have a ball. Does it surprise you that people like to hear some of the some of the oldies but goodies? It does, but it's fun. It's, it's almost like a new song all, all over again. Uh, we brought an acoustic set back, kind of there in the middle. It's just like a little bit of an intimate moment, and then we're right back into high adrenaline and high octane. So, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're excited to get there. Are you surprised how much love your Canadian audiences show you? But I tell you, that's, that's one thing uh, I have noticed throughout my career is, is country isn't, isn't about, you know, where you're at. It's about who you are and what you do. And, and there's definitely all kind of country in Canada. And, and it, these folks have been awesome about showing us love through the years. And, you know, that's why we keep coming back and we love being here. Have you had a chance to perform overseas at all? Well, yeah, we, we played Europe, and actually we did a USO tour that took us all the way to Kuwait. So we've, we've done a good bit of traveling, but, you know, this is this isn't too far from home. <laughs> it's not quite over the pond, so yeah. to speak. So it, it's always a good time. It's always a good time, and you're right. The, the folks do show us so much love here. We're, we're so appreciative to be able to come here and, and to move up in size, you know, as far as the venue goes. Yeah. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, like I said, we'll continue to come back. Well, the reason I ask if you've performed overseas is because when I've spoken to other country singers who have been to places like Germany or Japan or even Spain, where English isn't necessarily the first language, but the fans know every single lyric to your song, so that's got to be that's got to be kind of a trip. It is a trip, and I tell you what, over there, 
I need a translator, I feel like, on stage with me. You know, like, I'm like deep south, right? So. <laughs> What's interesting about you, Brantley, is that you've never, you never really picked up and moved to Nashville or California. You're, you're still living in the general area that you grew up in, which I think is really cool. Yes, ma'am. I, I've got uh, Andrew Roberts and Rodney Clawson out on the road with me this week, right? And I was telling them, you know, uh, living at home for me is home's home, but it, it, there's folks there that, you know, hold me accountable that have known me my whole life. And, you know, that's where my roots are. That's where I'm comfortable. And I, I just feel like, you know, I needed to live where I started you know, the, uh, around the people and around the places I started writing songs about. And you obviously want your son to grow up in that kind of an atmosphere. For sure. For sure. My wife's family's from there. You know, my family's there. So it, it's home. I hope my little boy likes to be outside. You know, I, that's, when I grew up, we spent all our time outside. Bradley, I want to change gears a little bit with you for a quick second. Um, with shows like The Voice and American Idol, which feature guys like Blake Shelton and Luke Bryan, would you ever consider going on a show like that to just even be a mentor, to bring a little something different to a show like that? On The Voice or like American Idol? Yeah. A mentor? I, I ain't real sure how. If I'd be a real good candidate for that. But, uh, you know, who knows? <laughs> I don't know. I've never been asked that before. I think you'd be a great candidate, Brantley, because I think you'd offer a different perspective. Everybody in country music has has come up in a different way. Some ha- some have had it easier than others, and I think you could bring some valuable advice to some of these contestants on a show like American Idol or The Voice. For sure, I think there's a lot of people in the business that, that came up different ways that can offer all kinds of different advice. You know, for us, it's uh, it's always been kind of a case where what works for most people doesn't work for us, and sometimes what works for us doesn't work for a lot of other folks. You know, my, my thing has always been, you know, I enjoy being the what you see is what you get guy. Uh, and that, that keeps things pretty simple for me. <laughs> I guess that would be my advice. Well, Brantley, we are so excited to see you back here in town. You're here this weekend at the Abbotsford Center with Tim Hicks. And we've got the sunshine waiting for you, okay? Well, thank you so much. We can't wait to see y'all. I appreciate you having me today. 93.7 Hits.